I was devastated. I couldn't believe it. Whether you knew him personally or admired him from afar. You just got to count your blessings. The passing of Kobe Bryant shook the entire sports world. I felt myself being emotionally attached to it. I don't even know why. Binghamton sophomore and Philadelphia native Sam Sessoms grew up just miles from Lower Marion, Bryant's alma mater. My eyes got a little watery just because of my love for the sport, you know, and uh, Kobe is a huge, like, you can't tell the basketball story without Kobe Bryant, you know, so, you know, I was just emotional. Richard Caldwell, also from Philadelphia, compared Bryant's death to losing a member of his own family. I've been watching him since I was a young kid, and yeah, I know it hurt for everybody because, like, basketball bring, like, being him, him being so good, it, it felt like he was family. But the tragedy especially hit home for Tommy Dempsey, a basketball fan, a basketball coach, but most importantly, a basketball father. I started thinking about some of the basketball things later, you know, later in the night, but while, while it was happening in the moment, I was just thinking about the family. Also a father of four, Dempsey says a day like that makes you appreciate the good things in life. I think there's always these defining moments that happen to you and it happened to anybody that makes you take a step back and realize what's important. I thought yesterday was one of those days. And if there's anything the Bearcats can take from Bryant to put into their own game. His mentality. His mentality to be better than everybody. You know, that mama mentality. A legacy both on and off the court that resonates with basketball players everywhere. His love for the game. I don't think nobody loves the game more than him at all. Nobody. Making an impact in Binghamton, even if he never knew it.